Jesse and Veronica. Alcoholism. Crusty. Potty mouth. My name is Fat Mike. I'm an old punk rocker. Who's more well known for being a shit talker? A troublemaker and iconoclast. I thought I'd do more damage with my own podcast. Cross dressing. Mexican accents. Detox. Beards. Episode 13. Two flew over the cuckoo's nest. Okay. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Jesse. Hi. Hi. Mike. Uh, this is a very uh, cool episode, podcast. I don't know. We have, it could be terrible. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. But uh, <laughs> I have crusty punks today. Veronica, are you a crusty punk or are you just a, 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 a woman who likes punk rock? Um. Talking to your mic. I know. Stop it's, playing with your dog. He's, he's stuck. I am. He's um, stuck. <laughs> your dog is stuck on the carpet. He's stuck on himself. Okay. Ooh. I, uh. Oh, go. oh boy. We have a technical problem. This is awesome. Are we getting this on film? <laughs> I'm getting this on film. <laughs> okay. I'm going to need help Keep with the rolling. dogs. Keep because rolling. Keep I- rolling. Put the dogs in the control room. I am only, I am only the only one with the dogs and it's becoming. Gary. I'm, help. I'm, no, put the, put the dogs in the control room. I'm just thankful you guys left your eight cats uh, in the car. Oh, yeah. Uh, we, we're thinking about bringing them. All right. So we're still on air. All right. Oh, we're playing the video. We're oh. playing Escape the Zoo video right now. 12 rounds. Awesome. Uh, you guys look uh, dirty. <laughs> yeah. Um, Jesse, you're it, dirty. It's just not. You look it's not really just dirty. Look. Yeah. I'd, this is blood. 
Um, <laughs> you have blood on your shirt. Were you I mean, were you beating been, were you beating him? Were you, no, were you hitting him no, in the face? He fully did that to himself. No, yeah, he slammed I, his head into a stop sign. Yeah, I did. And there was wait, a lot wait, of wait. You ran into a stop sign. No. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you please help? <laughs> so <laughs> we are. Um, we don't allow uh, hard alcohol on the show. As a, oh, sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> you can drink whatever you want. <laughs> so we were. Um, it's Austin, Austin vodka. Austin, you can drink that. Is it Maryland, Baltimore? It's. Baltimore, Baltimore, Baltimore Maryland. Maryland. That's how people. The other way. It's yeah. funny because Hefe does the same thing. It must be a okay. Mexican thing. Yeah. Do I? Do I? Am I? Maybe I'm just an alien. <laughs> and uh, after the show, I was feeling a little bit wily, and just slammed my fucking head into a metal bowl. Oh. Um, it was a stop sign. It, it was a stop sign. A In front start. of a police officer who who, after he proceeded to pour blood out of his head, did nothing. Yeah. Uh, no, he, he doesn't really want to fuck with you. They don't want to help. Um, <laughs> Which is why, and put the microphone closer. So, which so, is which is probably why you're about to go into the loony bin. Yeah, I'm gonna go the get some help. Facility. I'm gonna go get better. I felt like and it's facility a, was a. No. Now that I'm thinking back on it, that is the scariest word that I could have no, picked. No. <laughs> you're, you're going into the nut house, bro. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> it's a fancy house on the beach, full of doctors. Yeah, and they That's nice. and benzos. And ben, oh, benzos, benzos and vodka, uh, not good. And and they specialize in people who uh, uh, bonk their head on poles in front of police officers. I, I'm just thinking that you, that you bonked your head. It was more of a bonk, right? No, I deliberately was, fucking bonked it, head butted a pole. It was it was a whole intense fucking thing. I don't know why I did it. Couldn't explain it to you. Then that's why. Uh, yeah. You're going into the institution. Institution's better. F- facility sounds scary. No, now. nut house. You're going to the nut house. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> going to the nut house. Well, which is which is we'll fun call. because if you make it through there, but you're going in together, which is cool. Yeah. With our dogs. It's couples you therapy. Could, could, okay, <laughs> this is weird. You could bring your dogs to the nut house. Oh. Tim Tim needs you. Okay, oh. hi Tim. <laughs> you can't go anywhere without your dogs. Yeah, he's and uh, Veronica, you set this thing up. Well, I was going. Yeah, oh. I, need, I need help. I've never been to therapy. Oh. I, need, I need therapy lots and lots of therapy as fast as possible so I can tour again. Yes, <laughs> I went to uh, rehab. Uh, what like about a year ago? We did a lot of month, like ten months over, and uh, I learned a lot in rehab, which is why we're going to do another episode when you get out. Yeah, because I bet uh, it changes you for the worse. I hope not. I hope it changes you for the better. <laughs> I hope so. You know, try to listen in in therapy in the group. I do. I've been like, a, I, if I'm being really honest, I've been like, a, don't don't lie to me on my on my podcast, Jesse. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, try to be honest. Um, if I'm being <laughs> honest, I can't tell now. I, I can't tell. Yeah, now you'll you'll be skeptical about everything I say for the rest of the podcast. I'm from. Mississippi, Houston. <laughs> my, 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 <laughs> no, no, for real. Um, <clears throat> You're from I'm Texas. Just, I'm skeptical about help, like therapy, um, because I'm just kind of a cynical piece of shit. Um, Don't be. Uh, yeah. You I called mean, me the other night at, at like midnight. And yeah, said, no. I'm, I'm sketched. Yeah. And you, you were scared. Yeah, and, and I am terrified. Yeah, we talked there, for a while. Things that are going on in my head that I don't understand that I feel like other people probably do and probably understand how to fix. So you need to I do- just I need to not be a fucking cynical asshole and accept the help. Accept the help. That's for, what I did. For I- some reason accepting help is really really hard and I feel like it's really hard for a lot of people. Um it's super hard. I, I don't I don't really know the f- First step to you know you, you taking the journey the down step. that path. You already took the first I step. I guess just you're yeah, going, going tomorrow somewhere, and you came here, which is a great place to fucking hang before you go. <laughs> it is. It's very nice. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Um, uh, set just, up a bedroom for you and everything. That's it's, it's nice. Absolutely lovely. Thank you for letting us like get the last um, bits of. <laughs> Alcoholism yeah, out of our they ex- systems. They, while we're, <laughs> they expect you to be hungover, so don't feel bad about that. Yeah, that's. Um, but you know what? I, I care about you. You're a good guy. Uh, you, you're dirty, but that doesn't bother me because I'm I'm a dirty Jew. So you know. <laughs> but you're, great, you're a great songwriter there. and you're a sweet man. 
Uh, you both are sweet people. So I'm, I'm excited for you to go in, into you. the weird place. And you know what? Just listen. Pay attention to what they tell you. Like, go to every, opp- every opportunity you get. Take it. Yeah. Uh, that's what I did. I'd, and, you know, I walked on the beach. What, yeah, uh, we have beach meetings and, every morning. <laughs> it's weird. We're not. But, um, there's a guy with a Trump sweatshirt every day. <laughs> oh, God. Please don't be there. No, and I, I didn't let it that's, bother me. You know, I played back. I, maybe, maybe they do that on purpose. So you're like, <laughs> so you don't talk to them. Uh, you have to, you have to, I look, did, you I have did, to learn to look past things that upset you. <laughs> yeah. I, I did stuff to him that he doesn't know about. <laughs> <laughs> on how dirty he is. I do wash his clothes. Oh all, yeah. All the time. They're all it's clean. This, this, do you shower? The They're stains. Just yes, I do. I shower all the time. Oh, I don't, for, cause like, I don't shower for Sometimes he gets drunk and showers really, for three hours. It happens yeah, all really, the time. It, it's a long time. Wow. Uh, you need to, you need to go somewhere. <laughs> yeah. That, that is not normal. No. <laughs> I mean, it's, not. it's just like, it's like a, it's like a blanket that covers every part of your body. It you know, incredible. I like, I like to use a blanket. To, to feel like a blanket. <laughs> you, just, you can just use a blanket. You know, just use a blanket. <laughs> that's that's. But my, my blankets are leather, which uh, weighted, smells yeah, good. Yeah, holds holds Make, in a little bit sweaty, more warm. Though. No, no, my rubber blanket is sweaty. Okay, the, the leather. <laughs> that's the blanket I use when I want to get. I mean, squishy. you think cows are sweaty? No way. <laughs> or lamb? No, I've never. I don't know if lambs are sweaty. <laughs> don't know. But a leather blanket is... <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever asked one? <laughs> Sorry. No, I don't talk to pet animals like you do. <laughs> yeah, I do. Uh, but we have two leather blankets and leather pillowcases because, you know, I think I'm... Well, I am weird. Uh, I don't know. But leather, makes me, it calms me down. Yeah, I, I get that. I would very much like to... Um, don't say sleep in my bed with my leather sh- my uh, leather blankets. What? No, I'm not. I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> God damn it. Everyone <laughs> thinks I'm a swinger. I'm not a swinger. No, I don't. <laughs> I was going to say, just, I was going to say I would like to. Cuddle your blanket for a second. Yeah. You, you know, know what? I'll, I'll, I'll put my blanket like. on For a second. Um, <sighs> you, you can spend, you know, three hours in it if you want. So, you know, I mean, I was talking about like you know what it's like? 30 it's like, seconds. No, no, like, three hours. <laughs> you know what it's like? It's like taking a shower. <laughs> okay, well then uh, that would be three hours, I guess. Yeah. So says Veronica. So I'm excited That's for you guys. Awesome. Don't be weird. Don't be. Don't be stressed. It's uh, yeah. If you're feeling weird, get help. Yeah. Right. Because drinking I, vodka from Houston, from Austin, uh, it doesn't help. You know, it, it does me. not. What no. freaks me out is they have acupuncture there. I think I saw it on the website, but I was like. Ooh, that sounds fun. Is that maybe that's therapeutic for people who do needle drugs? I don't know, but getting stabbed with a bunch of needles does not sound fun to me. It doesn't hurt that bad. No, acupuncture. You know, it's so <laughs> it it, work, it works on our you people. Fuck. It, how many puns how are you gonna fucking puns? throw at the world uh, before uh, we're all uh, there? Uh, <laughs> and by the way, you guys are not punctual. You, you take oh. the punk out of punctual. You're supposed to be here I yesterday. I, I'm aware. I, can, I'm so sorry that we're so bad at texting. Can I tell him why I, we didn't make it? Jesse yes. Ki- yeah, yes. Yeah. Jesse oh. kicked the stick shift in his sleep. Yeah. And the car stalled out. It was no. Well, you shouldn't fault. be sleeping while you're driving. <clears throat> yeah. I, I, he, I, I was driving <laughs> and he just went, and it was like, dead car. Great. Fantastic. Yeah. He was like, uh, we're late because we have car trouble. And that yeah. was it. There was trouble in the car. Yeah. There was trouble in the car. You're, you're, a, dick. you're a dick, dude. <laughs> I, Why I, would you do that? I fucking know. I, he was I don't asleep. Know. I, I, it sounded yeah. like a rowdy dream. And <clears throat> he just yeah went for it. I did. You, you saw a stop sign in your dream and wanted to <laughs> kick it. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> he hates stopping. I love that, though. I am scared. I love that you tried to headbutt a, a stop sign. Don't yeah. be scared, because what, what could go wrong? Did you ever see One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? I have not. Oh, my God. Nothing no. goes wrong. Everything is fine. I don't think I should watch it, though. No, it's fine. You'll be... Yeah, it, you're not going to get worse. Hey. Hey. No, I you think you to get worse fine. before you get better. That's not the first time I'm going to the hospital. I know that um, I'm it's about... It's not a hospital, though. It's I know, but I know... It's on gonna... the beach. It's on the beach. Yeah, it they doesn't matter where you are. They're going to give you DTs clean clothes. Are always the same. <laughs> clean clothes <laughs> that aren't bloodied. Oh, you know? Great. I mean, try not to scare the other people there either. That's that's kind of something I'm worried about too. Because I've been thinking about it. I was like, well, 
they're not letting us stay in the same room, so I just have some random dude with me. Oh, you got to stay with a dude? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like a state. It's like a law. So you like, can't, uh, you can't do that. I'm yeah. like, I, I, what's wrong I, with that? I don't want to be like this man's nightmare. Like, no, you know what? No, I know you. You're fucking chill. The person you're with is going to be your nightmare. I also slam my head into a fucking stop sign in front of a police officer so, in Maryland, I do? Baltimore. Do you know what I do in my house? I've had fucking things like metal thermometers shoved down my dick. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Does that, what is, I've been, what is that? It's does called that? sounding. Yeah, I know. But Sound does it, sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> it does. It, it is sounding like a bad idea. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Does it, but it, does it. It's fucking terrible. Uh, imagine. <laughs> well, I had surgery when I was a kid because I had a, a <clears> tiny <throat> pee hole. So my, my pee stream was just dribbling. Did so, you? Yeah. I did too. So no they like shit. dialysis yeah. to your. Do, do you need an operation? I, I forget what's called. Yeah. But yeah. Like I, I would like piss out of the kind of like the top of my dick or I don't know. But they had to like redo yeah, it. They had to stretch mine open. Yeah. And same thing. Yeah. So I have scar tissue. So this one lady put this, you know, she put lube on it and put it down my. My penis when I was, uh, you know, aroused. And yeah, it was. It felt like you know a, ru- really a, a rusty nail. <laughs> yeah, that feels about right. That sounds really painful. I'm like, uh, uh, ouch, ouch, yeah. quit it, ouch, quit it, terrible. ouch, quit I, it. I remember the first time I ever had a, the only time I ever had anything in my fucking dick hole when that I remember <laughs> that was remember. after. Yeah, that I, was after I had a my first like uh, grand mal seizure. So I was in the, I just woke up in the hospital. <coughs> you like, know, I saw cops like walking in my house and then I woke up in the hospital. So they gave you, um, they gave you the seizure. Yeah, probably fucking police. Well, you know, See, fucking just, seize the I day, mean, seize yeah, the day, bro. right? It's an old expression. <laughs> but, uh, I remember waking up in the hospital and the nurse came in and I'm not proud of this. And I don't know why I said it, but she said she was going to count to three and then pull it out. And she counted to two and pulled it out, and I called her. Yay! I love that. Yeah, I yelled it so loud, and I really. Would you yell? I called her a bitch, but I yelled it. Oh, I would have said cunt so fast. I'm just saying that right now. I yelled it. That is way beyond bitch. Clearly, you have Tourette's. Because I don't. (laughs) Because you just shout out words like that. I I don't. You said the B word. Well, she. It, I it was hurts. woken up out of a dead sleep. She um, counted to two. She, what do you she told me she was going to count to three. Yeah, well, this way is better. Tell me she I didn't smile when you did that because she's she totally. Did. Used, she did. She's definitely used to it. it I love it. All she yeah, definitely now did. Now it's hot. Now it's hot. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, in retrospect, I, if I was watching it, but See, I, but I was living it and it was not okay and it hurt really can, bad. Can I tell my catheter story? Yeah, catheter stories. Let's give it I, catheter stories. Catheter stories with Fat Mike. And <laughs> on, um, can we get a theme song for that? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Here we go. Oh, One, you're, two, you just three, made the theme song. Four. Catheters. <laughs> um. So when I was seventeen, I got hit on a California state highway. When I was blackout drunk, one hundred percent my fault. Like, this guy was stone cold sober, five under the speed limit. Were you walking around I on wa- the freeway? I, wa- I stepped right in front of his truck. I mean, it, there, was wow. a, there was no crosswalk. It was on the other side of the street. doesn't matter. I, I, I got fucked up. I mean, I should be dead, but I was so drunk that it was fine. You just went um, limp. And actually, the lady who pulled out my catheter told me, um, if you were not so drunk, you would have been dead. But if you weren't so drunk, you probably wouldn't have gotten hit. And then no. she said, take that home with you. And she walked out. But she, I couldn't pee in a catheter. I couldn't do it. And I was just like, I was yelling it's at this hard. woman. And I called her a cunt for not pulling my catheter out. I couldn't pee. You can't do, <laughs> what the fuck is that? And yeah, then I called her a cunt for not pulling it out. And then a cunt when she pulled it out. So that's why I said calling her a <laughs> well, bitch she, for pulling it out isn't that bad. She couldn't win or lose there. <laughs> yes. You guys have, have potty mouth. I'm, I'm pretty sorry. sure of it. Is that <laughs> what attracted you to each other? <clears throat> Hi, what's up, bitch? You fucking cut. <laughs> really, I have not heard such language on this show. That's, oh, wow. Did we... Are we just laying it down? No. Escape I'm, from the I'm, fucking zoo. I'm, just... I'm, no, no, no. no, no sorry. I'm good at this. I'm, we can I'm, cut it out. Cut it out in post. No, I'm, we're talking about, uh, you know, CBT here, you know. Cunt and ball torture. Cunt and ball torture. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Yeah. So one time, uh, 
uh, someone drugged me, <clears throat> strapped me to a chair, and put needles in my uh, in my sack. <laughs> Holy shit! You know, and uh, I just thought it was like a needle thing, and it was it was ketamine. So I'm like, <laughs> whoa! And then I get up, and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> that sounds good. They put uh, this 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 not not nice lady put uh, 400 cc's of saline in my nutsack. So it was like a softball. What the fuck? That, that sounds horrifying. dangerous. Yeah, that fuck. sounds super dangerous? fucking dangerous. I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> if I was at a softball game, it might have been dangerous. <laughs> How did it uh, escape? Uh, uh, escape. Yeah. It, 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 your body absorbs it, but it was just walking around. Like, oh, <laughs> so when you say you hit your head on a stop sign, I'm like, so what? <laughs> yeah. Thank you I, for making me feel so normal about being such a fucking lunatic. Dude, I, I pay for st- shit like this. I really... There is a need in the world for people like you because I I hate myself sometimes because I know that I do things that I don't understand. Just because you don't why. understand them, don't hate yourself. Yeah, I, I didn't understand, but I, I, now I do. I, yeah, I like I'm, doing fucking weird shit. <laughs> it's just um, the, the the solidarity is appreciated. Maybe and that maybe that's why nice. I, I care about you so much and want to take you under my wing and like help you through this process. Also because you're a fucking genius songwriter and uh, lyrics and music and you play real fast. Y'all have a lot of similarities <laughs> in, in writing. One the primary one being honesty. Right. It's you. I, that's what I thought you saw in him was like. Ab- this kid doesn't absolutely. fuck around on the honesty thing. Absolutely. At all. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. You. you uh, your lyrics really touched me, and. Uh, Cause you're just being honest, and uh, and just think of the loony bin like that. Man, I know I'm a big ass dog of a man. Bro. I'm so sick of having to fit into these yes, macho man. standards. Yes, I need man. to get in touch with my feminine side ASAP. Oh, yes, and I don't know anybody who's more in touch with their sensitivity, sweetness, and feminine side like you, Sam oh, King. What's up, big dog? What you need from me? Man, I just need some advice. I need my life to change. Oh, you need that change your life, can can, can I offer you an olive branch of wisdom right now? Absolutely, I need it now. Here you go. Check these out. These are <laughs> these are fatal. These are incredibly these are, soft. These are man panties made by Fat Mike and Jessica Louise for the man of the 2022 variety. This is what is this fabric? That's the future, my friend. That is a that is a crushed velvet from the East Andes, a rare albino alpaca that they actually dye blue for some reason. I love it. I want to wear it right now. Bling. Bing. We'll do that in post. Fatal man's panties. If you use big ass dog as a promo code right now, you'll receive 25% off of your first order over $50 in the continental United States. I'm sorry, Puerto Rico, but we don't acknowledge you. That's fucked up. Fataldesign.com. We met in uh, Vegas, mm-hmm. right? Do you, we didn't no, meet the no, first no. year. Um, Montebello Rock Fest. Oh, oh right. In, uh, uh, in Canada. Yep. Right. We met there. That's the first time I saw you guys. And I was like, hmm, pretty good. And uh, borrowed makeup from the guy from the attics, from Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was doing Koki the Clown. Yeah. And I thought you guys were really Fucking cool. Fantastic. And why, why the trumpet? Oh, right. I get it now. Trumpet. But uh, Punk Rock Bowling is when I met. Uh, Whitney for the first time and she was in my room with uh, a couple other people and she said we'll never go to Fat Records we're an independent band <laughs> we're doing just fine I go well if you ever want to no we'll never do that okay but if you want to the next year you both were in, in the same room right and and Whitney and you're like uh, we're with you, you ready? It's been a year. <laughs> and you were like, yeah, we think Fat Records might be kind of cool for us. Yeah. It, um, Whitney is intense. Right. And talented <clears throat> and, and, and one of us. Fuck yeah. You know, very passionate person. Yeah. So if she's like, we're independent, she because she's knows very passionate about. She can do everything Bing. by herself. And she probably could. Yeah. Solid. Yeah. But I convinced I you totally guys. Believe like, that. We're actually an but, independent um, label. And I know that I can't do everything by myself. Yeah. Um, and, and recording with Johnny was awesome. Fuck yes. Oh, my God. And 
Johnny can from I Old just Man fucking, Yeah, can we give Johnny a huge fucking shout out? Because that, like... No. He, <laughs> okay, we don't do that kind of thing. Fuck you, Johnny. <laughs> you piece of shit. Uh, you, I um, didn't say you had to yell at him. Oh, well... But, sorry, okay, sorry, Johnny. You piece of shit. Jesus Christ. Um, he, <laughs> Johnny, you're you have bur- potty you're mouth. Burbit. You have potty so, mouth. Oh, so you fucking piece of Texans. crap, Johnny. Get, darn. Da, you darn fudge. Piece of fudge. Anyway, he did a great job <laughs> on, bo- yeah, on he both was incredible. Days and, and Days and Escape from the Zoo. Yeah, and it was, it was so, he knew exactly how to work with me and Whitney um, when we were recording Days and Days. I was like, he knew that we were just, we'd been recording in some closet at my parents' house, you know, for like a decade. And now you're out of the closet. He yeah. was and like, come, and, come and, into and my closet. Yeah, it was then. terrifying. <laughs> he knew that we were like horrified because we were like, oh shit, this is like a studio. And I mean, Fat no, but- Mike from fucking No Effects is here. And, but he made it feel like we were just at home again. Well, cause he's a great dude. And, yeah. he, and I, 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 was I so picked easy. him because he's in a bluegrass band and you know, we got you guys to play bass on yeah. bass. Murdered it. And, uh, not, it, not me, but like, but, it, but you guys were it. really happy with the album and, and so were it's, your fans. Yeah. It's the, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a great album. He was really it's the favorite for... thing I've ever put out and definitely this Escape from the Zoo album is my favorite thing I've put out with Escape from the Zoo because Baz and Johnny just absolutely yeah, they did a great it. job. It was really great for Escape from the Zoo because of the fact that all of the leads, almost all of the leads are played on a mandolin through a pedal, which is really, really weird. And Johnny, figured, he, he was like, oh, I know how that works. It's fine. Like immediately, as yeah. soon as I met him, I was, he, I was like talking to him about it. And he was like, oh, and he was like giving me pointers. And he was, was like, talking to you about it. Yeah. And he was like, I know. Yeah. He was like, I know exactly how like to perfectly. work that. And I was like, this is the guy. Yeah. Let's go back to Vegas. Because because we've talked about Johnny. Yeah, let's enough. go right now. So next year we're in Vegas. Now we're hanging oh. out. Oh, okay. And you guys are like, uh, yeah, maybe Fat Records might be a good idea. And then. You know, do you remember what happened? I do. What happened? Well, is that when we hung out in your yeah. hotel room? We did some. Yeah. We did a bunch uh, of blow. Yeah, we did a lot of cocaine. Yeah. And, uh, I like how you did the sound effect for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. You don't say that? Where's the... <laughs> the... <laughs> Everyone just knows. No. Um, I know. My people know. So yeah, we did. And dogs love it. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, I, what, what I do a lot is say, I was dressed in some kind of latex outfit. Yeah, as, it was beautiful. As one does. And I'm like, you want to dress? Did you ask to? Or did I say, you want to dress in something too? No, I definitely asked yeah, yeah. to. And uh, I was really pushy about it because I was excited to see Jesse in a rubber dress. <laughs> and, and he looked amazing, right? Yeah. I feel like I was working it. I remember walking down the stairs and I was like, I'm fucking What? I had, I had right? self. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. And, but, but, but the other night you said, uh, I don't stop thinking about that. I really... Yeah. It really touched me. Like, I really liked how it felt and how I looked. It was very cozy. Yeah. And it's, it's fucking I cool. Take three hour showers. I, I, I like being wrapped <sighs> right. in something. Right. And latex wraps you and it is it is soft. And uh, it's it's just a sensation. So it's that, latex that you put them in? Yeah. Absolutely. And it's uh, it's just a sensation. I'm a sensation junkie. So I, I love having different materials on me and... Uh, just feeling different things, whether it's pain or pleasure or I want, I want everything. Isn't that the hip thing with the kids? Like, is that like not a type of ASMR? <laughs> the ASMR Isn't thing? that the hip thing, the hip thing with, the with the kids? The hip thing with the kids like, they like Jesus. weird specific I wish little, that we you're so ahead of your time. <laughs> oh, well, no, no, I, I'm very old is the thing. Uh, I'm in my 50s, I'm not ahead of my time. I'm at my time. <laughs> I didn't know... I can make you, I hope, okay, you might have to cut this out because I don't want Sturgeon to get mad. I did not know you were in your 50s. You could say Sturgeon and, is a great dude and he's going to get mad. Until you, until Sturgeon told me, you know Fat Mike's in, in his 50s? You know why he looks so young? He doesn't wash his face. Uh, and, I, and I stopped washing my face the next day, bro. Oh, is that I'm the kidding. I've, I haven't, I haven't washed my face look like you're in your 50s, since, you know? I, since I was a teenager. It's and it's it's good. Like, Jesse, Jesse, doesn't, Jesse doesn't wash his face either, and you both well, look you young. So I'm just you I'm can't. Just, I'm you have a example. fucking huge beard. You're like you're like Mexican <laughs> Santa Claus. Mexican Santa Claus. <laughs> but you couldn't oh, wash your face goodness. if you tried. You need shampoo. <laughs> his beard is growing into his eyebrows. It's my favorite. Uh, I know. It's like you're it's, gonna start poking your eye. Yeah, it's like down. a full thing. It's like. <laughs> 
It's it. My eyebrow, my eyebrows do grow into. Yeah, I can see it. A werewolf, man. Werewolf. So yeah, look, uh, that's true. Here comes a werewolf. I haven't washed my face since high school, but I, I only wa- I only shower once a month, maybe, or jump in the pool. It's, it's not natural. It's working. It's weird. I have a little thing near, uh, on my toilet. I shh. People wa- think you wash your balls. Wash people your ass. think yeah. People think fuck showers are bath. Yeah, that's fucking overrated, man. Uh, what do they call it, it in Texas? They call it hoe bath. It's rude. That I, is rude. I, I, no, it's I not. Do. It's potty mouth. It's, it's right. just, you guys Rude can't say anything without mouth. saying ho cunt bitch <laughs> just, yeah. escape from the zoo came up here from fucking Texas Houston and started just <laughs> dropping fucking bee bombs we actually cuss every other word but it's because we're not thinking fast enough because we drink too much and we can't think of the right words so oh yeah. do you drink too? potty mouth works are huh? you a drinker too? Oh, I have a problem. That's why we're going. Yeah, we we need That's help. What, <laughs> so, we're going to rehab. <laughs> and I just gave you a bottle of uh, vodka, yeah, thank and you. I gave it to you at a good price too. Yeah, no, it, it was free, so it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's not free, uh, dude. It's, oh shit! No, it's well, 10, you didn't. It's ten bucks. I mean, uh, you know, I'm, I am Jewish. That's fair. That's yeah, fair. <laughs> it yeah, is. It, it, is will, a, it is like a twenty-five to thirty dollar bottle here, right? So. It will be fun to see. Well, give me some of that. Do you have some weird uh, how we uh, beard disease? Um, probably. Well, our biggest issue uh, probably, is that neither fucking, of us. No, of course not. I'm, of neither course of not. Us. There's no such. I'm gonna drink this tequila over here. <laughs> <laughs> Podcasts are about talking, and neither of us can talk to anyone without. You guys are ta- you guys are medicating. T- so well, that's because we're, we're drunk, Mike. Yeah. That's because we're. You drunk. guys are great guests. <laughs> You're really good guests. Anyway, so the dress thing you really liked. So, yeah, uh, I'm we're, excited because you said you had yeah, I some, have some presents dresses. for us. I have some dresses uh, f- for your guys' room, so you could try them on and see how they feel, and uh, you could try them on too. I think this will be good. We'll film it and maybe use it for the podcast. People want to see, but, you know, this is private, <laughs> private shit. I thought you had, don't you have to oil them? I helped once. That's why I know. Remember. Oil? Yeah, don't you oil, oil latex. <laughs> what, do what do you oil? I'm, I know that I helped oiling somebody. I don't. Yeah, we put we get we get some pin. I we, help, we get I some scarlet oil with the oil. We get some pins oil, oil motor oil. If I can put that on a latex. What is what it? What you do in Texas? I don't know what kind. We oil use, we use, use Wesson oil. Oh, I think we're gonna need about thirty gallons of oil. No, use lube. In that. Use, use polish. <laughs> Po- polish is that a nice way of saying lube? Is that what you're saying? Oil. <laughs> hey, I don't know no, anything about. Okay, look, you wouldn't know. I've been wearing latex for like thirty years. Oil <laughs> degenerates the latex, so it's no good. Okay, so it's so, so, oh, so like it's like a like water based. No, no, silicone based, silicone, silicone based, silicone okay. based. I'm just curious. You know, know, in the old days, we. It was the only. Yeah. You know, the, the, old, days, the only way you're gonna get in that dress. Is it go down? We're gonna have to go to Valero and go get you get some Earl. a blue slush puppy, and we're gonna put that slush puppy all up in <laughs> that dress, and that's gonna fit on you nice and real good. <laughs> you are amazing. You can even talk on stage like that, dude. If you guys, no one's ever given me a reason to no, talk no, about that. You gotta work that shit. You're from Texas. You know, like like who's that lady with Johnny Cash and uh, June something? Bug? I don't know. But they had a Probably. whole thing. Can you talk like that too? Can you talk funny like Give that? Give me a Texas accent over. Oh, it, it comes out when I say certain things I don't know how. Say it. Like, say, let's smoke a cigar. See, I can do it. And when I'm talking about a cigar, then the cops are coming. Well, hey, that's like a New York let's thing. Scram. Can you say y'all? Well, I, I y'all. use y'all all the time. Yeah, I'm not yeah. good at accents, you know. Yeah. I'm from I'm from the Seattle area, and and it took me five years. Oh, give me a oh a shit, give me give me a you look Seattle. Give me a good give me a good Midwestern, just like oh no. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, you got that Seattle well, look down. Well, I'm from the West Coast, but it's really nice. So we're gonna really have to nice go down, down okay, and look, get a really slushy look. freeze before we can get no, no, you in that latex. No, no. Okay, you guys want to get popular? I know this kind of shit. You talk. <laughs> with with the with the Texas accent, you talk with that accent. People are gonna go. die laughing. Okay, you ready? Yeah, talk talk about someone not being in tune. Hey, baby, you're gonna have to tune that shit up a little bit. Oh. That B flat. I mean, I know you think that there's no note between B and C. 
No, there. But I guarantee you, you can fucking hear it. Oh no, there is. There is. Just because you say dogs can't hear. It's, it's so cute that you think that there's no notes. That there are so many notes between B and C, but there are. Not there's a million many. goddamn notes. I know. Between. No, no, no. You see, this is this is gold. <laughs> you know, because you're like, oh, this is so much different than days and days. Like they got a real thing going here. We're gonna put on dr- dresses. Okay. You want to see how that's by you? All right. I mean, I. I but he, I'll do what I'm just. I'll do whatever we mad at me. But no, I, that's I, what that's what lovers do, right? Mm-hmm. That's what partners do. Mm-hmm. Jesse it for you. Okay. I'll learn. I can learn. Because you guys, it's, are, it's you guys a, are so in love. It's a lack of confidence is the issue for me. And he's got. And, he, and men, we won't ask more than one or two times. He's never asked. He said you guys talked about it. Yeah, he must have told me when I was drunk. Sometimes he waits well, to tell me things night. when I'm super, super, super drunk. Here's the cool. Here's the cool room. What? Holy shit! God, right. this was n- this is not like this when we were here last time. No, this, right? is, what, this is my room. Yeah, this is like way gnarlier. This is crazy. Yeah, it's it's homey. I think it's homey. Yeah, it's yeah. very it's cozy. It's not Jesus Christ. Uh, here's here's the, here's a funny story. This I tried to use this the other day. Look at this. It's like a butt plug, but it's got a big hole in it. <laughs> What's hole? <Why? laughs> what is it? I don't know. I think what people pee and stuff. I was. Uh, Can I feel it? Yeah. I was trying to. Uh, oh, it's not even like soft. Yeah, like, was like, you couldn't even like. I just clean. I want you get to get dressed in something. Yes, please. And see yourself in, in a certain true. way. And then let's get Veronica dressed in something where she feels sexy in. What do you think of these? Wait, wait. These are cute. There's a great collar here. Oh my god, there's a bell on it? Yeah. So yeah. your chick knows where you are. <laughs> oh my god, it's incredible. It yes. Yeah, this is what you want. You put this on yourself. You probably don't want pink stuff, or do you? I, you, your eyes just went like. I honestly really do like pink stuff. Ooh. Oh, what's attractive to you? Oh, but can I just start cat? Oh my god! Thank you. Here we go. Yeah, but you put them on backwards. This is oh, this is what I've been trying to find for so long. You look happy as fuck. <laughs> Yeah, it feels good. Feels really good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she uh, she just started crying, saying how happy she was seeing you. We all grew up here in mm-hmm. California, where maybe it's not quite as like you know fucked, but like in Texas, I know you cannot like. I know you'll get fucking murdered. Like yeah, <laughs> like I know. If you want to like, that, it's uh, not easy. No, yeah. And when and when you're a public figure like us and people, I you know. Oh yeah, I and mean, there's fucking no way that I would be. Like, I mean, of course, because I'm like, this is. I mean, my apartment hinges on me being able to keep these people interested, and then if I, you know. No, I know. It's fu- it's but, fucked but up. I. I don't think I've lost fans, but you know, I read the decline of Red Rocks. Like, how many months are you, Mike? And you know, everyone said that. Yeah, I look pregnant. Quit wearing a stupid dress. It's like, and then it's like, fuck you. That was so fucked up. I, don't, I, I really I'm, don't understand. I that. am. Ha- this makes me happy. It's like, you empower men by letting them be feminine. That's how you empower women because men are such dicks. Because they're grumpy, because they can't they are. do this. And you know what? Because it, that we're told that we have to be fucking like animals and we have to like fuck things. And that's... And you know what, Jesse? And that, without that's a mask. Like, that's right. But you look so cool with just the ears. And you. you. Seriously. Because you look fucking happy. I am happy. It feels nice. I, I, I don't want to be like... Fucking Tarzan, or like you know, like what? What is another like masculine? Fe- it's it's so like Hercules, or just, no, it's, it's, like I don't want to be like that. Right. Fucking how about, how about Gladiator? Yeah, fuck that. Like I, I want to be, you know, I want to be soft. Let me see this wife of mine. Jesse, shh. 
What did I? Okay. Jesse. Okay. Oh, fuck my God. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh. I'm still gonna pick clues, huh? Yeah. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Jesus. That. You just give me a like. Santa. You know, a little quick. 360. Oh, I did it! It was not falling. Oh my god. Santa. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. That, was, that is like. That's fucked. That's the hottest thing you've ever seen. That's like. That's real good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no, he's. I mean, look at you. What's your clothes cost? <laughs> you guys want some time in here? Thanks for listening to Fat Mike's Fat Mike. Now it's time for an unreleased song by our sponsor, Bottles to the Ground. A record club for dilettantes. Here's a new one from Doom Scroll. Silver!